Hello everyone, this is your Trivia. Welcome back to another Bellatro Let's Play as we move up to the purple stake for the Plasma deck. And here's where things get a little bit more difficult because the scoring scales with each anti faster. And we'll hit our ceiling around anti 6 and 7, whereas before we were hitting it at 8 and 9, which perfectly allowed us to finish a run. Now it's not going to be so nice. So we either have to change our tactic, which previously was centered around building up our chip, which is a pretty easy way to go about beating the plasma deck because the way the scaling works. But now we might want to go back to the previous X malt strategy where we get a huge malt number by multiplying it over and over again. Let me buy it. I, I think we'll use it. It's a flush. We're probably going to play flushes. Alright, foil is good, but I don't think we're going to skip this one, which makes quite a bit of money to get it. We'll see. We'll see what Joker becomes available to us. If we get an early stacking Joker, we'll still go for the stack. If we don't get it, we could try to build up for an X Molt strategy, but that takes longer to build up. That's the only thing. Alright, so our hand's gonna shift quite drastically here. Maybe we should just go for a flush since we did upgrade it. Wow. Could not have worked better. Right, something like this that adds molt and then times molt makes a lot of sense. What if we just buy this and buy this and then slow our run a little bit but then build up a big hand? We would have to go down the straight path. Playing only three hands is gonna hurt for the late game but hopefully hopefully we're a lot stronger by that time. I'll pick five. Yeah I think we take the pay five. We don't necessarily need to get straights right now. But it is an option. If we're doing straights, we shouldn't really destroy any cards. Kind of kills the balance. playing the flush. Just don't need much here. I mean, this is still a good card. I think we can hold on to it at least. I think we take two jokers here. Straight. Thank you. And we'll try this. Basically, we can get duplicates. And if we can duplicate like the order, it'd be pretty good. That's kind of the idea here. We'll see if we can take advantage of that. Missing a five. Still missing a five. Alright, now we're kind of in a bind. Maybe we get like hack and re trigger the small cards. There's the five.
This will be good for us for the early runs. Straits, no flush. No two pair. We play. We play high hand. Yeah, it's it's enough. Okay, we'll use this to try to make some money. The duplicate has appeared. If we don't discard, we can get a pretty good setup here. Thanks to the ice cream cruising right now. We save money for this. And now we save money to take advantage of that. Nice, but we don't have the money to really take advantage of it right now, so we should wait. We just play it by that later. Ooh. I think it's time to sell this. Hasn't really done too much for us. Ooh, that's a new one. Haven't had this one. Create a negative copy of one random consumable card in your possession at end of the shop. Consumable negative? Basically, we get double value on the on the consumables. Is that what they're saying? So if I buy this, I get two of it. And the negative consumable gives consumable slot. Let's test it out. Okay, so basically we can make copies. We can make infinite copies per round, technically. Very interesting. Okay, I really don't want to discard. So we make we can make a flush. Perkyo. That's, that's an interesting one. First time getting it.
I need to buy one though. Can't be using it. Yeah, there's no incentive to. Hmm, these are all bad. Destroy two cards. I'm gonna skip. Right now, it's not doing anything for us. We need to find a straight. We need a five, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna have to start discarding. Or else we're gonna die. We're hedging it on the nine. Now nine or uh, king. So we get infinite copy of Temperance, and we're going to be loaded. We're going to be very loaded. I can spend money now. But we also might be, we might be dying, because our, our setup is not great. Okay, we bought this on we bought the extra slot on purpose because we knew it might have been a problem here. Let's do infinite temperance first and then do some sort of infinite planet play. We don't need this for money anymore. We need something with ship. Okay, that, that could that doesn't synergize, but it is what it is. We're still pretty all in on straights. And this we can just use. Alright, for interest, and then we'll get another copy next time. We want to play more rounds, see more shops. 9, 8, there we go. Every card counts. I mean, it doesn't really help us. Since we're pretty rich, we're probably going to reroll. Okay, that might help. We have a better option with the spade setup. Uh, we should still try to get straights. When we don't have it, like here we, we need a 9 or a 4. We can play something like this. Okay, we got saved. Absolutely saved. Do we need the spade? 
Uh, it's not. We, we don't need money. We need just play more spades. That's close. Alright, we just need to make spades. This might be more helpful. Not sure that actually helps us. Uh, it's only gonna add spades. Oh, this could work if we get really rich. Like right now we're doing this. This is not contributing that much, but it's eternal, so I can't touch it. This is probably better for us, especially if we get more money. I don't think that matters right now. Make 23 for every shop we see. Okay, four cards straight flush. Could be a thing, but right now we don't have a space for it. So I don't think we actually grabbed that. We could make more wild cards. They, they would also count as spades. Oh, got rid of the... Yeah, got rid of the bonus. That's not a good play. I just want to see more spades. We have the bones of a straight here. We play this first and see if we can get a straight here. And then it's going to be a lot of luck. Oh, we got just enough. Okay, so no need for luck yet. can't use that but getting a negative either one would be good so we're pretty content with this setup we upgrade a bunch of straights Run the two pair now. Do we do another reroll? I 
I feel like we go with a flush route and don't decrease our straights. And just decrease the flush. We'll probably end up having to decrease one straight. Oh, this is gonna be basically a risky redraw. Or we count on having. We could use this, it will save us. We basically get a flush. Hoping to get a straight, we don't, but two pair with the spades should be enough. We don't need much. do two. I mean, money obviously has its uses. Come on, give us something. We'll try it again. Alright, we'll just take the negative. Not a terrible voucher. We've got two turns to take a look at that. Second legendary joker. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so this has the least scaling here. I mean this is nice too, but whenever a face card is destroyed. Well I'm not sure that's gonna be useful for us. see. I'll see what we can do with that. I can't destroy them right here. Okay, we took out the straight one because we might be doing a lot more flush as well. Even though flush has not been really upgraded. It's really about this. We can technically play everything that we want. It's basically going to be scored by this for the most part. Yeah, this is not helping us. We need to think about what to do with this. We could destroy two, but I, I don't... like. Having an X3, does that really help us right here? We kill a lot of the straight possibility. We also kill a spade, which kind of sucks. Alright, but I guess if we're going to keep it, this makes the most sense right now. Try to build flush back up.
we should be fine for the most part. Want to draw more cards. Okay. That's our best play, I think. Most played is straight, but like right now we're kind of deviating away from that. All right, we're anti eight. One random Joker disabled every. I mean. That's okay. If this gets disabled, that's totally fine. If this gets disabled, we're screwed. Not great. It's gonna be a lot of chance. All right. Let's see if we just get a ten. It's really all we need. If we don't get the ten. We play the flush. I don't think there's a single spectral card that can help us right now unless I mean there's not a consistent one there's one like you can change all suits and then bam we get all spades we could think about selling this there's two more rounds left right before our big showdown this will be Good for a decent amount before this because there's a times three on it. Good for like a hundred something. We'll make about 62 less. 62 less. I think we would want to use this first before we sell it because this is worth 10. This is like the combo with the X Molt. And we're still a lot of chip building, but we kind of did a little bit of both. Uh, we were really hoping to get tarot packs to to, uh, to destroy some more face cards. That's probably what would have helped us the most. Retrigger spades is also not bad. I'll do one reroll. We don't want to do too many because I don't want to lose chips for that. No spades. Okay, so we play something that's not spade for this hand, or we... Create a straight, right? That's kind of the... the strategy here. We're really not drawing well, so... Oof. We might end up being forced to play a high hand, which kind of sucks. Seven, five, we're missing a lot of stuff. This does not look good. I'm gonna just do a big redraw. Let's take a look at the luck. 
luck of the draw. Okay, that really hurts. Not gonna get played. It's gonna be a straight play. Ten or five. Play the pair. Yeah, basically for this, once that gets disabled, we're in a really bad situation. We want this to get disabled. Got the five. Yeah, that's kind of our best play. Let's see if it gets us there. We did it. It was close. There's a lot of randomness on that last disable. Oh, that's nice. Where were you the whole time? Probably gonna duplicate that. Okay. It's kind of a flush for of a kind. I think this scores too. Oh, it doesn't score. Okay. Maybe we get an eight. And yeah, the backup plan is to play the flush. We also haven't destroyed any more face cards. I mean, with this times three, it's still one of our better combos. Pretty lucky with getting the world here. I think we just play the flush. get better than that. Ooh, 
I don't know, actually. No, they're both smaller than 10, but they're sort of on this side, so they must be spades. Oh, they're hearts. We, we survived, but that's definitely not what we expected. Getting very lucky with that. 38 spades cards. Flush is gonna be everywhere. Okay, negative joker. We're not gonna beat six million though, so we're just gonna die here. There's like no making three flushes here. We have to take a lot of chances. Even if we do, it's not enough. Like this is a straight flush. It will score like 1.5 million, I think, ish. Well, much less. But it's a good run. It's, difficulty's definitely spiked after we got to the purple stakes. And for us to continue to beat the rest, it's going to take a different approach with the Jokers. We did still stack chips, but we also saw how the Molt X also kind of, or X Molt kind of helped us. And we definitely want to go towards that side because you can't really, I mean, even with the 700 plus, it's not that consistent. The X Molt is what's going to carry us on these later runs. And that's what we're going to try to do. We did see a few new Legendary Joker here as well, so overall pretty good run, and let's see if we can keep this going. So until next time, bye!